This tutorial is about subarrays in MATLAB. A subarray is a part of a matrix or a vector. This is useful if you want to look at a single value or a group of values in a larger array. To access a subarray, we use parentheses. For example, v equals 2, 4, 6, 5, 3, then v open parenthesis 3, close it, returns the third value in the vector v. In general, we can index with vectors of values. For example, v of, and we take the vector 1, 4, returns the first and the fourth value in the vector v. We could also do something like v of 1, colon 2, colon 5, to get every other value from v. Notice that there are no brackets around the term 1 colon 2 colon 5 because that term itself is a vector and doesn't need brackets. Remember, the indexing term must be a vector. If this is not familiar, please review the tutorial on variable declaration. When we index arrays with more than one dimension, such as a matrix, we use a similar syntax in closing the index in parentheses. However, we have to include two arguments now, one to indicate which rows we want and one to indicate which columns, separated by commas. For example, let's create a matrix M equals 1, 4, 6, 2, minus 5, 3, 9, 7, and negative 8. Suppose we want to examine the entry in the first row, second column. We would write this as m of 1, 2, where the first argument 1 indicates that we want the first row and the second 2 indicates that we want the second column. We can still index each dimension by vectors. For example, m of the vector 1, 3, 2, will give us the first and third rows in the second column. As another example, m of 1, 2, colon 3 will give us the second and third columns in the first row. Note the dimensions of the return subarrays and how they are determined by how we index our matrix. One more example is to look at a submatrix. We could index both dimensions by vectors m of 1 colon 2 comma 2 colon 3 returns a 2 by 2 matrix composed of the second and third columns of the first and second rows. A very useful operator in indexing subarrays is the colon operator. We saw how the colon can be used to declare a vector, but it has a slightly different meaning when used alone in the context of indexing. If you use the colon alone when indexing a particular dimension, it selects the entire dimension. For example, m of 1, comma, colon selects all the columns in the first row. Similarly, m of colon, comma, 2 selects all the rows in the second column. One more useful operator in indexing subarrays is the end operator. Specifically, you can use the word end to refer to the last element of a particular dimension. For example, m of 1, comma, end returns the last column in the first row. MATLAB interprets the word end as the size of the particular dimension. In this case, since there are three columns, the word end is internally replaced by the number 3. Another example is m of end, comma, colon, which returns the entire last row. The colon operator is then equivalent to typing 1, colon, end. For example, m of 2, comma, colon and m of 2, comma, 1, colon, end we'll return the same thing in our equivalent.
Once you are able to index subarrays in MATLAB, you can use this to overwrite values in vectors and matrices. For example, if you want to replace the second row of M with something else, we can write M of 2 comma colon equals the vector 2, 2, 2. And now the second row of M is replaced with a vector on the right. A more complicated example is M of 1 colon 2 comma and the vector 1 end equals a matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. This indexes the first and last column of the first and second row and replaces them with other values. It is important to notice that the value on the right of the equal sign is the same size as the value on the left. In other words, had we typed the value on the left independently, it would return a 2 by 2 matrix. The value on the right is also a 2 by 2 matrix. If they were different sizes, there would be an error. Altogether, indexing subarrays is very useful, both for examining particular entries in a vector or a matrix, or for reassigning them throughout the course of a program.